What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Let me get all this crap off of here. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Hey, hey, hey. Can you hear me? Can I be heard? Can I be heard? If I can be heard, give me a sign. Give me a good old sign. Oh, boy. It's been an interesting couple of weeks. In fact, I need to respond to a text real fast. Very good, very good, very good. How's everybody doing? It's been a while since we have streamed. It has been a while since... We have gotten to this point. Yeah, I know that my quality sucks. Um, that is... Ooh. I, I was saying that the last stream, which was, God, a long time ago, the last time we streamed was the six-hour birthday bash aganza, which was the first part of June. So it's been almost a month since we streamed. Uh, it's been almost a month since we have streamed, which is crazy uh, to think. Uh, is this going to be uploaded to the channel? Um, sure, but it's going to be horrible quality. Uh, the quality sucks. That is going to be... Uh, yeah, I know, it's Burzum level. It is garbage. That's changing very soon. The uh, new computer, the new system is done. Um, everything is working properly, it just needs to be delivered, uh, which it will be in the coming weeks, uh, maybe even in the coming week. Um, so then I just set the sucker up, I need to get the space together for it, it's going to be, it's a crazy, crazy, crazy time right now to be a CKN fan as well as, uh, CKN himself things have been a little wild so you're probably all very curious about the health updates which is one of the main reasons why I've uh, not been streaming um, it has been a very uh, hard couple of weeks for me uh, on the health front um, I do have some some glorious updates and by glorious I mean I actually know something which it, for me this past couple of years, not just a couple of months, but a couple of years, has been like a giant guessing game. Um, I, of course, posted a video last year, around this time, talking about uh, rheumatoid arthritis, talking about... Um, cirrhotic arthritis, talking about uh, a lot of things that at that time uh, my doctors believed that I had. And of course uh, what happens throughout the course of a life is that you garner some second opinions because um, nothing really seemed to stick. Of course uh, whenever that occurred it became a big old question mark that eventually led to a diagnosis of fibromyalgia, which is another thing that garners a second opinion, considering it's a literal catch-all. Uh, so finally, I have made my way to a specialist at UPMC, the same, uh, the same level of specialists that are used by the, uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates, the Steelers, the... Uh, the Penguins, really very reputable doctors in this area, and, um, well, huh, the, uh, the update is that there's 69 viewers watching right now, nice, 69, you can't chill till metal is dead, the economy, you'll never be able to chill, um, so, um, I was ordered just two simple things, x-rays and blood work. The blood work has yet to come back, but the x-ray showed that uh, I have a small tumor. It's benign, but it's behind my uh, right kneecap. 
And uh, there's a very, very good chance that that is one of the main reasons why things have kind of gone haywire and awry and haven't gotten better with all sorts of different things. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it is, um, you know, not exactly like saying, oh, well, I have, uh, I have terminal cancer, but it's still something, you know, it's something that was discovered. Is something that is applying a tremendous amount of pressure to that leg, which is causing the significant popping, the huge pain. Um, and um, and it isn't pricey to take care of, to be perfectly honest with you. It's not all that bad, uh, mainly because of uh, some decent health coverage uh, that will be destroyed by Trump care. <laughs> but... Um, Also, you know, whenever you have, whenever you have some terrific supporters, uh, whenever you have some terrific supporters, um, not necessarily you guys, um, in that case, uh, in that case, I mean, actually, my, uh, I have a very supportive family. I have a very supportive family in this case. Um, it's something that becomes very much a family affair, and we are a family that actually has, um, we, all three of us have medical issues. Um, my father, who many of you met in one of my videos, uh, has had a bad back due to an injury now for going on 20 years. And uh, he's had two surgeries. Both of them were unsuccessful. So it's caused a lot of damage and a lot of problems, uh, depression and all sorts of different angles. It's one of the main reasons why uh, I look at surgery as an absolute last resort. I would rather just uh, medicate and... Uh, try to manage the pain as opposed to um, going in there and getting this thing removed. Unless, of course, it grows. If it grows, then uh, this son of a bitch is going out faster than you can think. And um, uh, I really don't care how long I have to pay off that medical bill. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. Um, back to <laughs> That's my dad, actually, that I'm texting. Um, my dad and I uh, share a lot of uh, a lot of centers for pain, like a lot of different, like a lot of the places that uh, I hurt, he hurts as well. So we have a lot of uh, commonality. It's caused my dad and I, strangely enough, to get closer together, which is really, really cool. Um, but it also kind of sucks because I know that he hates to see me in pain. I know my mother is just absolutely wrecked about it. Um, I myself am pretty chill whenever it comes to this news because like a lot of you are saying in chat, um, it's an answer. It's at least something physical that can show that there is something going on, that it isn't just um, a psychosomatic thing that <clears throat> I think many doctors really thought. I had extra, and the thing is I had x-rays done um, a couple of years ago and they completely missed this. So it's either brand new or um, the, the x-rays just completely missed it or the doctors missed it. You know, you have to sometimes uh, see people that know what to look at or the, what to look for. And I don't know if these guys, uh, where I got the initial x-rays done, I don't know if they knew what to look for. And that may have been the issue. Um, the fibro is still... Um, kind of like on the table but not really um like there is still a structural mechanical arthritis that is 100 percent on the table we are on the uh cusp of a true to life diagnosis because the thing is is that the uh the benign tumor is in my right leg behind my right leg which would explain the right leg pain but what about the left which would explain the right leg but what about my back which would explain my right leg, but what about my ankle swelling and the pain surging? Um, a lot of that I thought was maybe um, due to anxiety. You know, that, part, that angle could be a little psychosomatic, but I'm on medication for that, which has done wonders. And yet it's still is something that is haywire. Like, something is very, uh, it's still very broken and... Uh, 
if the thyroid blood work comes back negative, meaning that it's normal, then I will be enrolled in the pain management. And um, I will probably be there until about six months from now which is where a new x-ray will be taken to see whether or not this bad boy is growing. If it has grown at all, it's going to be surgically removed. I have already made that decision because, um, you know, I can deal with pain. You know what I'm saying? I can deal with pain. I'm a tough son of a bitch. It takes a lot to put me down, and something like this is enough to put me down, okay? Like, on that threshold of 0 to 10, July 4th was a 12 on the pain scale, and um, I still got up, fumigated the apartment because um, the neighbors have given us a bout of bed bugs. Got the cats, took them over to my parents' place, hung out there for a bit in absolute just agony. You know, sat there for the two and a half hours in extreme heat uh, in order to uh, ensure that, you know, the apartment could get fumigated and also aerated properly. That has worked, which is just phenomenal. The neighbor next door has been a huge ass issue, by the way. They have been here huge issue. I got stories, man. Like, it's been a month. I got stories, dude. <clears throat> like, we'll talk about metal. We'll talk about some damn music in this chat. I absolutely fucking guarantee it, my man. But, uh, for right now, uh, I got stories about this past month that, uh, they don't, they won't necessarily chill the bone, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, we're not talking, uh, <laughs> this isn't Dance of Death, which, Man, I fucking really want to listen to that now. I really do. Oh, man. Like, that'd be such fitting back background music. Um, but that would be really distracting. Let me tell you a story to chill the bone about the thing that I saw. But anyway, um... <laughs> you know, it was just a horrible fourth, but still I had a smile on my face by the end of it. Um, the neighbor has just been crazy. Yesterday, actually, um, I was hoping to get out a video for the new Decapitated album. You might wonder where that review is, and um, it was supposed to come out yesterday. Um, however... As I was in the process of listening to it, and uh, I was doing like three things at once, I was listening to that, I was watching uh, SGDQ runs, uh, because charity, uh, but also, uh, also, um, I was playing The Room, and I don't know if you've ever played the game, uh, it, it's very, very cool. How much do I have to donate for you to get a proper mic? Um, uh, Sakuraz, uh, it's more of a waiting game than a donation game. You know, donate how much you want. Um, but really, whenever the new system comes in, that's going to be taken care of. So, you know, donate only because you like what you hear, You or, you know, not what you hear. You know, obviously, it's why you're asking for a new mic, but you like the channel, you like what uh, we do here. Um, that's the reason you should donate, not just because of, uh, something that's going to be fixed. Um, at least that's the way I look at it. Um, there was a tweet that I actually posted that was talking about, um, you know, more people, like, if it, there, there's 51 people in here. 51 people that donate, you know, five bucks. That means a whole hell of a lot more in the long run, uh, Especially if you guys are kind of struggling, then one person who's a, a billionaire who's giving you know a thousand dollars, because in reality that five bucks that you might be giving that might be, um, you know, money for a meal that you decided to to sacrifice, you know, and maybe just decide to to fast or cook something basic like 
beans and rice or macaroni and cheese. Um, whereas with that billionaire, given one thousand dollars, you know, basically that means oh, um, I, I can't get what a couple gallons of gas for my for my G6 or whatever it is. <laughs> Could I stop using Winamp and use Foobar 2000? Hey man, I have a long history with Winamp, and uh, I, I love Winamp. I've always really loved Winamp, so getting me to change is going to be really rough, unless Foobar 2000 has some, like, beautiful... I've never even heard of Foobar 2000. Like, that's the thing. I don't even know... Uh, Winamp has... Uh, competitors, I know, you know, like iTunes and Spotify and all that stuff, but I don't know pure uh, competitors for Winamp. <laughs> like, I've used Winamp now for, God knows, it's been like 17 or 18 years. But anyway, I was listening to New Decapitated, you know, watching SGDQ because charity and all that stuff, and my neighbor knocks on my door, and his girlfriend that he has just recently gotten, like, they just started dating whenever the last stream took place. So they had just known each other for like a week and were already dating and doing that whole, you know, quick love nonsense. Well, anyway, she was in rehab all this past week. Notice how I say week. Notice how I say week. She was only in rehab for a week. Her coming back after leave on Friday after leaving for rehab on Monday should have been an indication to this guy that um, bitch checked herself out and still has intentions on drinking and doing drugs and that's exactly what she did yesterday she took something in the apartment downstairs ended up passed out my neighbor was able to get her out of the out of that apartment and onto the you know the, the stairs in front of the building but couldn't get her up the stairs and wanted me to help him do that um, to give you a little bit of background, to give you a little bit of background, um, this woman is 46 years old, and I'm fairly certain that whenever she was alive at like 75 or 76, my grandmother on my father's side looked better than this woman does at 40 fucking six. Alright? That is a problem. A huge ass problem. And really, my other grandmother looked better than her at, or would have looked better than her at, uh, like, 81 if uh, she didn't have a lot of, like, face wrinkles. And that was from just a, a life of anxiety. Um, so that just really, you know, anxiety does terrible things to your body. You know, it can really increase your aging. My grandmother uh, on my mom's side looked very, very good upon her death, even though it was a uh, cancer death. Uh, but even still, um, the anxiety just rocked her, you know. Yeah, looks aren't everything. I, I understand that. But this, I looked at this situation and I looked at uh, my neighbor and said, uh, we're not doing this. You're calling the EMTs. You're calling 911. You're calling 911. Because, first of all, uh, bloated, bloated bitch, um, wasn't going to happen. And, second of all, even if you do that, you could have potentially caused more damage to yourself, which he has a bad ankle. I, of course, have all this shit going on with me. There's a good chance that you're going to hurt yourself a good bit or hurt the person that you're trying to help. We have 19 stairs in order to get to the uh, uh, the apartments that are on the second floor, which I have one of them. There was no way this was going to happen. How you doing, Tar Tanker video? So anyhow, a lot of my afternoon was spent handling that situation with my neighbor. And somehow, some way, bitch was back before dinner time. I, I just... Like, are these fuckers indestructible? What the shit is going on? I, I, I just don't even understand it.
It's so weak, so I can hurt it a lot. You listen to Lincoln Park. Your ego is the weakest thing that this planet has. Especially after this last album. But yo, um... So the past couple of weeks have been trials. Uh, high pain days have, of course, required more laying down, more taking it easy, which, of course, has affected everything that I've wanted to do, uh, especially that for the channel. Um, especially that for the channel. That has been my, uh, my biggest regret thus far, is that how much it has affected content. Uh, there should be a top 15 list for the first part of the year right now. That hasn't happened. Uh, principally because I said that I wanted to do update videos for five recently released, you know, with all the stuff that I've missed. None of that's been done. Um, although a lot of the stuff is pretty much primed to be shot. I'm still working with a laptop here that is slowly but surely losing more keys uh, as far as viability is concerned. So what I now have to do in order to, um, to post is that I have to open up a text document and type out everything and then fill in the blanks uh, by copy-pasting the letters that uh, do not work any longer. So, um, you know, it's hard being a metal fan and a train fan. Not really. I'm a train fan. Early train for sure. Early train for sure, my man. The new Linkin Park album has a soul, not like Rust in Peace. Um, the new Linkin Park album, if it has a soul, it's really boring. <laughs> so, like, that's fine. You can say that. You can say Rust in Peace has no soul. I don't give a crap. The new Linkin Park album is about as boring as it gets, so... Basically, imagine that you're sitting in a room with your parents, and your parents are absolutely boring and don't understand you. You're an angsty 13-year-old boy, but you have to sit with your parents for all eternity, and they're doing nothing. Maybe every so often they talk about the weather or, or talk about getting window blinds or shutters. Maybe they're talking about redoing the carpet to something of a very beige and benign color. Oh, man. Maybe they want to rip up all their wood paneling and put down something that's a little bit more tepid. Maybe that's a little too aggressive for them. Oh, now they're talking about countertops. Oh, and the neighbors have a nice fence, but why don't we? That's more exciting than the new Linkin Park album. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer the weather it's a hundred times better than metal what about whenever the weather is metal what about whenever tornadoes rip through mobile home parks what about whenever floods completely decimate oh, entire towns what about whenever wildfires ravage through British Columbia and Alberta causing land Lands worth of damages. What about hurricanes that rip through entire states, destroying aqueducts or destroying dams, destroying towns, causing people to pilfer, steal the TV, steal the TV? Or what about snowstorms that encase people in ice, causing them not to be able to leave? And then you get to spend all that time with your parents, too! Oh my god! Weather is motherfucking metal my man weather is one of the most metal things that is out there whenever people complain about the sun burning their skin because of how hot it is that's metal whenever you hear about the cold shivering people to the bone that's metal it's metaphor it is believably beautiful and one of the most wonderful wonderful things that we will never understand just like music Weather and music are so tightly combined, it is insane. Because no matter what happens, you will never be able to control the weather. You'll never be able to control uh, what it does or why it happens. You might be able to predict it, but that's about it. Oh, man. What about dead skin? 
Yeah, doctors, I mean, listen, doctors are freaking metal as shit. Like, everything in this world, in some way, shape, or form, is metal. Even that, like, benign conversation I was talking about between two parents. Dude, that's still metal because they're going to be ripping up that carpet or ripping up that wood floor. You never know what you might find underneath there. You might find a box under there that has, like, dead human remains or maybe you'll find a box under there that's a big old blob of something. You never know. You never freaking know. You can find, like, an old antiquated spear and you sell it on eBay for $5,000 and then it's, like, used in the murder of an ancient god. <laughs> oh man I need to take a look over here for a moment oh we have a couple of donations thank you so much guys you guys are great um, <laughs> I'm just having a blast right now <laughs> someone started a death metal band with lyrics about flipping houses I would listen to that I would listen to that 100%. That would be absolutely glorious. So, uh, we have 15 bucks uh, from two separate donations, which I just completely destroyed. Ramen McCullough, thank you very much for the $10. And Kyle Davis, the $5 donation. You guys are both absolutely fantastic. Um... Who wants a new Mayhem album? I do, if you're selling it. Or if you're talking just a uh, regular album, you know, give us a new album, Mayhem Plus. Um, yes, please. That would be wonderful. That would be beautiful. Please and thanks. Love you, bye. Um, if you're wondering what the goal and stuff is all about, um, nothing really. It's more of a keep the lights on thing. Oh, crackers. I gotta get that all straightened out. Blip. I don't like that being that big. I kinda hate that being that big. I don't have a choice. Do I have a choice? Nope, don't have a choice. Oh well, that's life. But yeah, that's kind of the that's the whole deal. It's just the keep the lights on sort of thing. Um, of course, the last couple months we've been. Uh, really aiming high on the charity block and everything like that. Uh, by the way, speaking of the one-of-a-kind 50-50 charity, um, we have one final stream left for that, um, which is the 12-hour marathon stream, which will be coming once I once the new system arrives and I get it set up. Uh, that 12-hour stream will be the last stream that we do for the one-of-a-kind uh, charity. Uh, that, well, it's not 50-50 anymore now. It's 55-45. Uh, um, so, that is going to be a, a really, really crazy, crazy stream. I don't think we've ever done anything quite that long. Yeah, I, I did make that Cover Killer Nation logo myself. It was from something I saw online. Um, okay, you were fun for a while, but, um, now I can sit and time out for a little bit. Just gonna put that kid in time out for just a little bit. Just a little bit. It was fun for a while, but Troll of Metal's not here. Troll of Metal's not here to actively, like, destroy this kid. But, um... Where am I even at? HYPE! Freaking HYPE! A lot of hype right there, a lot of hype right there. What's going on, SK Shocky? Hype indeed. Um, I don't know if you guys watched SGDQ, but I did. I watched a lot of it. I watched a lot of that uh, this past week because I was pretty much down for the count for a lot of it. Um, things are slow for those of you who are just coming in. Um, it is all because of my health. My health sucks. Um, not really. You know, it's just. Uh, new stuff was discovered. 
you know, benign tumor below, up behind my uh, my right knee, and uh, really medic, you know, more of it is like interactions through medicines as well, and neighbors that are just ridiculous. I picked up a vape along the way though. Doing well-ish, nice. I am back to continue destroying metal. Oh no, it's economy the second. Oh, you went shopping for food at a local supermarket and a little black cat was hiding in the carts. Wanted to help him, but he was gone whenever I got up close. Yeah, a lot of them, they will, uh, they'll run a little bit, especially if they're feral. Especially if they're feral. Um, I can't tell if you're smoking or vaping. It's because I'm vaping. It's a vape pen. I got it from my tech department. My tech department hooked me up. She's sweet. I love her. I am more powerful than economy one. It looks like a dab pen. Dude, this thing is sweet. Like, I kind of like it. It's so simplistic. It's like, it's old school. I guess it's really old school. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know what the fuck these people are doing with these big old tank shits, you know. I like this because it's really small. It fits in my pocket. Uh, would I try to get my kids in the metal? Uh, Ice Fire, I, I will be honest with you. I don't know if I would actively try to do it. I would instead just have the stuff playing, like whether it be in the car or in my uh, in my house, my apartments, my whatever. And if they pick up on it, if they pick on uh, pick up on it, then I will um, I would actively encourage it. But I'm not going to be the type that says you have to listen to something. Because every per and here's the reason why every person that has listened to something different than me that I've never heard of and has shown it to me like exposed it to me, I have found something that I'd like. I, I like a little bit of everything, you know what I mean? Like I'm not restrictive to just one type of music, and because of that, um. It is something that is super duper cool and awesome that can actually foster a lot of cool things. By the way, this is this pisses me off. Um, first of all, I thought this was going to be menthol. It's cool mint, which is not menthol, obviously. It's just a fucking additive. Amazon fucking jewed me, man. Got jewed by Amazon with bad descriptions. I'm a, I'm a menthol guy. I've always been a menthol guy. Am I live right now? <laughs> no, this is a this is a VOD. This is a video on demand. This is a VOD. But uh, I actually do not have... Um, I don't have kids. What flavor do I vape usually? I have only one flavor right now. Um, which is uh, Stormy Cucumber Citrus Soda. Which I got for free, by the way. I went to a shop uh, that um, was actually open. That's the reason why I got this. Somebody did not like this whenever they tried it, so um, I, I got it for free. I got it for nothing. And it's a big-ass bottle. It's not too bad. You know, that's the thing. Like, it's not too bad. You know, cucumber citrus soda, it sounds like it'd be really bad, but you add a little bit of that cool mint to it, man, it's a really nice combination. It's very smooth. It's very, very smooth. It's going to need to combine a little bit more. That's the one problem about combination. Whenever you make a combination, it kind of takes a little while for it to get smooth. There it is. There it is. You're going to save who? Because if that's Faye, you're not going to save her. Faye's coming this direction. How'd you get some THC oil in that thing? Dude, I have seen some of those, and I have thought of it. I have seriously thought of it, my man. I, the, the, the bad thing is, is that this, and this is what sucks. 
this here is a three milligram. Okay, I'm going to need like 15 or maybe even higher if I want to actually use this as a legitimate way to stop smoking. All right, because um, here, I'll show you. I still have cigarettes. I still do, and I still smoke them. Uh, oh, shit, I forgot. God damn it. I'm going to give that a couple minutes. I'm going to actually do something real fast. Hold on. I want to show you guys something. Oh, God, dude. It's not working today. I hope this doesn't ruin my hair, which is already ruined, so what's the difference? Ha, ha, ha. So, um, I got a package the other day that I was expecting, I guess. I don't know. I forget talking to these people sometimes, but Astroloid. I don't know if you guys have heard of these guys. Um, Astroloid right here. Uh, they're a rock band from Norway or Sweden. Uh, that definitely looks like... It, it's Scandinavian. It is Scandinavian. It is super duper cool. Um, but this is uh, a really, really cool um, project here. Someone should start a band called... Uh, what is the deal with, like... Like, we have Astronoid, now we have Astroloid. The music that I grew up on, uh, and the first albums that I bought, I grew up, surprisingly enough, on oldies. Uh, the stuff that my dad was talking about in his in the video that we did together last year is actually what I grew up listening to. So, uh, I listened to a lot of the Beach Boys, uh, the Mamas and the Papas, um, you know, a little bit of Zeppelin here and there. I got really big in the Zeppelin whenever I got into high school, which I think is like every person that's out there. But um, also, also I was uh, exposed very early to uh, to soul and R and B. Uh, the first real obsession that I ever have is Michael Jackson. And uh, there's no video of it, but whenever I was seven, maybe not even seven, it, I was young, uh, one of the neighbors and I, uh, she and I sang fun, fun, fun for our families uh, down in my, my living room. We always like to perform little shows and stuff. I smoke clothes because it's hot goth chick got me hooked on them. Dude, clothes are alright. Clothes are alright. I, I, I did clothes. I have a friend that still smokes those. Alright, that's enough of that. Like I said, it's only like 3 milligrams. I need a lot of that if I want to actually get a, a fair buzz. Talk about what I want from music. What I want from music is very simple, um, and it's amazing because I hate the Fine Brothers. I hate the Fine Brothers, but they had a video that I watched yesterday called Elders React to Pink Floyd, and it hit the nail directly on the head. Uh, whenever they were listening to Pink Floyd, whenever they were reminiscing about it, it was all about emotion, it was about tone. They had a very great sense of, of rhythm. Uh, and now, yes, they had the convention of, I can hear the words, but, um, you know, obviously, in heavy metal, we don't have that uh, convention necessarily. You know, lyricism was very important. Uh, just the way that the music moves you is, is kind of the biggest thing that I look at. And sometimes I find it very difficult uh, whenever I'm reviewing uh, just a straightforward death metal album, or a straightforward black metal album, something that doesn't involve a terrific amount of variety. I sometimes struggle with that because the emotion of that does not change very much. It is meant to be dark. It is meant to have a lot of, of musical motion as opposed to emotional motion. It's supposed to make you hate and have a, a very misanthropic feel 
or it's supposed to take you on a on a morbid trip or a tale that talks of dismemberment or, dest or destruction. You know, it, it, it's meant to really be the soundtrack of a liquidated earth or you know an absolutely destroyed cosmos. Um, that sometimes can be very difficult to uh, deliver a lot of different variety of opinion toward. Uh, considering a lot of times one of the main reasons why these bands are beloved and why it never seems like they deliver a bad album is because they have a formula that, that, that is already enjoyed by so many people and those people uh, whenever they get that formula um, they can sort of separate and deviate a little bit um, I, I really love I really really love albums that have a lot of variety in motion uh, albums that feel very honest. An honest album will bleed that honesty through um, and will deliver an absolute just terrific ride for its listener. Am I making shit up? Um, no. I wouldn't say. It, it's the way I describe things, you know. It, it's not something where, hey, what I love in music is is G, you know. I, I love G, or you know, I love things that are in minor tones that uh, have a, a great BPM, you know, quick BPM. Uh, I, I like aggression that then turns into melody. You know, it, it isn't about that for me. Um, I review and I and I touch base with music very much on a. Uh, on a very emotional and on a very almost spiritual level, you know, it's not that music saved my life crap. It's just the fact that uh, listening to that, uh, if I'm really really into something, it just takes me to a brand new, um, just a brand new place. The Motion Brothers, no, the Fine Brothers, the Fine Brothers. I I hate them. Thanks for following you. Hey, it's no problem. It's all good. It's all good. You had a very good question. You know, you had an absolutely good question. Uh, and I think that that's something that we always ask ourselves, but we never have a true answer for. Because um, as we age, our tastes will change a little bit. They will morph. Um, but also, as we age, the things that we loved maybe 10 to 15 years ago will start to take on new meaning. That's another thing. Um, listening to 90s alternative music, which, of course in my heyday was the thing you know that was it for me at least uh listening to it now 20 years later is a trip and finding stuff that you just have like a spark of a memory of you know like maybe you were watching the box which for us was a call-in music video station maybe you just remember a name or remember seeing a video once or hearing a song on the radio once and then all of a sudden boop, pop goes the weasel it's right there in your head again and you're thinking god damn I want to listen to them uh, that happened with me with super drag a uh, really good example um, I, I thought about um, oh crap now I'm gonna lose the song title now I'm gonna lose the song title but anyway I thought of super drag and immediately wanted to listen to them and based off of that I found uh, uh, so many other songs of theirs that I enjoy. Um, like The Art of Dying. The Art of Dying is tremendous. Um, do I read? Yes. Yes, I do. I, I, I try to do so much. Like, that's the thing. That's why sometimes I get really uh, kind of bogged down or overwhelmed by all the things that I want to do. Um, and, and, of course, being in this sort of state where uh, there's an injury... Uh, there's there's pain, you know, sometimes you have to just take it easy. That is hard for me. It is hard for me just to take it easy, man. Um, it is hard for me to really know my limits with that because I want to read. I want to stream and listen to music and talk with you guys. I, I, I have games that I want to play. I have, a, I have a Steam catalog of 170 games, man, uh, that are all just, you know, potential stream games. You know, you know, potentially something that we can stream and maybe have a little bit of fun with, you know. Um, I have tons of albums that I want to review. I have two albums over there that apparently one of the cats were able to get um, out of the CD case. What the fuck? I have, um, 
Ah, oh, Jesus, just so much. Have I read Starship Troopers? No, I've seen the film though. The film is fucking good. And the uh, the riff tracks of it from uh, the the folks at Mystery Science Theater is even better. I actually saw that live. That was really cool. There it is. Who sucked out the feeling? Who sucked out the feeling? What's my opinion in Royal Blood, dude? Good band. I have their debut. I want to pick up first. I want to pick up their follow up. I want to pick up uh, their follow up for sure. Do I play Star Trek online? No. I'm not like a an MMO type guy. Like I don't do any massive multiplayer uh, games. Uh, although there's a very good potential that I'm going to have World of Warcraft on my new system because my tech department tried it out on my system and says that it works really, really well. Uh, I probably won't play because I don't know the first thing about WoW. So, um, fuck it. Um, <laughs> but uh, it would be kind of cool to uh, be in a room with her playing something while she's playing WoW and whatever because, uh, I don't know, I need to have her on stream. Uh, whenever she brings a system over or something like that, because there's just camaraderie that is absolutely absurd. It's it's wild. Um, I just smile thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? Have I checked out Witherfall yet, Andy? Andy, 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 do I have a surprise for you? From the band themselves, uh, the CD right now is in my car. So yeah, I have. Uh, this is a freaking amazing album. I want to. I'm going to be talking about it, by the way. Um, I have a couple cards here that I might include with some winter stuff. I need to get that winter stuff out there, by the way. Oh my god, just so much to do. Just so much to do. And I have this cool ass sticker that's going to be for the new system too. Like I'm really excited about this. I'm super stoked about this. Yeah, the guitar player is a nicer, and and this album rules. This album's so good. But yeah, the CD is in my car right now. I've been jamming out to that. I'm probably gonna switch that out with Astro Lloyd and check them out. Um, yeah, it, it's just, you know, I <clears throat> I have found that uh, like I get all this really cool stuff, and I want to talk about so damn much, and just. I think at this point in time in my career, um, I need to just start saying fuck view counts. Um, what do you think, guys? Like, I, 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 I think that I need to just start saying fuck view counts. Because um, I, I think it's pretty clear that here on YouTube, uh, I am not going to become... See you later, Wobbin. I'm not going to become one of those guys that has a million subs or anything like that. Hell, if I reach 100,000 in the next, like, four years, that'd probably be something something special. What are you looking for? This is Wars. Uh, they were over here. They, they, well, they were over here. They are not... Well, that was a smaller pair, anyhow. Like, I, I don't think that, like, I, I don't know, like, like, I'm tempted just to say fuck view counts with a lot of that stuff, because I'm going to be doing a lot more streaming with a new system, first of all. Um, but I still want to talk about the news, I still want to talk about, like, I, I, I still actively care. I still will actively care. It's just that, um... I was obsessed with the number of views last year at this time because we had just hit, I think it was like 10 million, I think it was. Like we had such rapid growth last year and it's still continuing. Um, but I think it's like, it, it's time for me to stop worrying about that and worry more about entertaining you guys. Um, worry more about delivering something that you guys really like and talk about a lot of great and neat bands. Will there ever be a Pantera reunion? Absolutely not. What's the health problem? I have a uh, I have a benign tumor behind my right leg, and uh, I've had some pretty bad medical reactions to 
some of the medicine that I have to take, which has caused extreme pain over the past couple of weeks. Um, very mechanical arthritis that is also causing apparently horrible lower back pain. Oh, and I have to get thyroid blood work back, so there should be something in there, too. You know, tons of fun for everyone. Oh, and my vitamin D! Oh my god, I don't know if you guys know about the vitamin D. Good lord, it's been so long. Uh, my vitamin D is, like, critically low. Like, holy shit. Normal is 30. Like, the, like, bottom part of normal, like, the part of normal where you start to think, ah, I might want to increase that a little bit. Uh, that's 30. I'm at 6. <laughs> Am, am I okay? Um, sure. I would say. Um, I would say that I'm okay. Um, I'm digging. You know, I'm, I'm continuing to try to work. Barcelona, Spain. Hey, Joan, thank you very much. Cheers from Uniontown, Pennsylvania, United States of America. I just gave away my location, son of a bitch. Although, apparently, uh, there's a fan that found me. Uh, at, sh at, at a speedway at a gas station and like sent me a message immediately it was weird what do I think about flat earth people? they're stupid because if the earth was flat cats would have knocked everything off of the earth by now there'd be nothing on the earth uh, what's a new metal band that I recommend? the band that I played at the start um they're more of a rock band. Uh, they're from Norway, but they have some like metal and prog in their sound. They are called uh, Underwing. I just did a video for them the other day. Nice meme, bro. I just fucking saw that today. Neutral Milk, uh, Neutral Milk Motel. And I shared it like almost immediately. I would definitely recommend Elder. Absolutely. Um... Let me actually give you a little something here. Ugh. I got this from the Metalhead box the other, uh, a couple months back. And I listened to it and it was excellent. So hold on. Let me find it. You would think I'd have these uh, in some way organized, but I don't. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, it's gotta be here somewhere. It has to be here somewhere. <laughs> or not. Well, oh, shit! No! Damn it! Where'd it go? Ah. Ah. Oh, <laughs> I looked right over it. I'm an idiot. Ah, uh, this is Dodd's Ritual. Um, I got this from the Metalhead Box. It's through um, the Black Market Metal label. Uh, this is under Sort Sil, or under Sort Sol, should I say? Really, really awesome stuff. Really, really awesome stuff. I recommend it a lot. Um, I recommend these guys quite a bit. Really, really cool. Uh, the booklet is very, very good. Uh, interesting. As you see, and like I kind of like the fact that they use that all white background, that all white background, very European. Um, you know, a lot of bands focus on having like that black background for their entire booklet. I find something very elegant about a white background because it uh, it really doesn't matter whatever your lyricism is. It just makes it look like you're reading a book, either that or it just gives it like an extra pinch of fancy. Like you put your fucking pinky up. Like you just do the old pinky up. So I would certainly sketch. I would uh, check them out. Uh, I would type that name in the chat, but unfortunately that involves keys that do not work. But you know what, I will try anyway, because I am... Uh, you know what, no, I'm not going to try, I'm just going to do it. My god. 
Why must it involve so many letters that do not work on my keyboard? Anyway. The name of the band is that. Dolls Ritual. Dolls Ritual. Very, very good stuff. I recommend it. Uh, is, is it going to blow you away? Is it going to blow you away? Um, well, maybe not. But it's a very, very good band. They have a good future, I think. I think they have a really good future. I think that's what counts. I think that's what counts. Um, if you're wondering what the uh, the whole today, month, and goal thing is, uh, the goal is $500. It's um, really kind of just to keep the lights on. We've been focusing a lot on, on the charity for the past couple months, and we will be going back to that. Um, near the end of August, maybe cruising in towards September. I don't know. Like I, I have debates. I really have super big debates uh, about what I want to do. But I know that next year, on the anniversary on of Ronnie James Dio's death, I want to have a marathon stream that is for Stand Up for the Cure, and I would like to make that some kind of like yearly event so I, I mean it's just really cool I, I want to do something to that variety I'm probably too scared and shat in my pants you're right I, I, I did sorry Whoops. my apologies my apologies uh, one of the things I also want to do uh, once I get the system set up is I want to definitely do a um, I want to do a stream where you guys supply the music through YouTube videos and stuff like that and then we review them together because basically what I plan to do with Twitch if you if you wonder what I plan to do with that, I am going to do game streaming, but I also want to do metal shows. And one thing that I hope to be able to accomplish by this changeover is potentially a podcast. Potentially a podcast. Karen, hello! Thank you, by the way, for your uh, donation earlier this month. I appreciate that very much, Karen. Thank you so much. Um, it has been a... A very rousing start to the year, the, the the new year of me circling the earth, the economy six six six. Oh my gosh, yeah, destroyer six 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 economy style. Have I watched the Castlevania show? Not yet, so no spoilers. I've already gotten like some semi spoilers that have pissed me off, and it's only four episodes, so I can do that in like five seconds. Actually, I can do that in 88 minutes, because that's how long it is. So, you know. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update of what was going on. I know it's not a very long stream, but it has been quite some time. Um, I have never checked out Madness Combat. I have no idea what that is. Uh, I will not be doing a discography for Anthrax right now. Uh, I don't know if it will happen sometime down the line, but as of right now, that, that's a no. Uh, any predictions for the new record? It's going to rule. Uh, it's going to be really, really good. I already like the variety that's on it. I like the fact that it's pissing people off, too. I like the fact that it's pissing people off. Now, is it going like, to top Elder, though? I don't know. I don't know, man. That is crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm, I have a couple things that I'm going to be taking care of tonight, and I am going to do my best this week, and this is going to be my, this is my pledge to you, okay? I'm going to do my best this week to make sure I have a video out for you guys each and every day. Um, I'm going to give you guys a reason to, uh, you know, a reason behind those donations, a reason to, to care enough to do that, because as of right now, I don't know if I really, uh, I don't know if I, 
I don't know if I've earned any donations or anything like that, man. That's the thing. Like, that's how I feel right now. I don't feel like I've done enough in the past couple of weeks to earn any of the donations that uh, I've gotten, which, you know, that's just the feeling. That's just the feeling. So, um, I'm going to get a couple things done tonight. I'm going to try to post something for you every day this week. And it ain't going to just be, um... It isn't going to just be the decapitated review. I hope to have some of those uh, update videos done for you. Because we need to get out the top 15 from the first part of the year. My work with the Metalhead Box is great. Hey man, let me tell you something. I love the Metalhead Box. I love those people. I love the product. I want to be honest with you I want to be honest with you I want to do so much more for the metal head box but I don't know how and also as a reminder whenever we do the 12 hour stream whenever we do the 12 hour stream we are very close to $1500 in total for the charity uh, as far as uh, well the total you know the total donations Whenever we hit $1,500, someone will win a free three-month Metalhead box subscription. And I can guarantee you something. I'm going to guarantee you something, okay? Whoever wins that, whoever wins that, if you are not already a subscriber, which I hope that's the case, I hope that the person who wins is not a subscriber to the Metalhead box already, because I will guarantee you that whenever you get that for three months, you will want to subscribe. You will feel a vacancy in your life if you do not get it. That's just my, that's my thought. That's my pledge. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out. Um, for those of you who maybe came a little late and didn't get a chance to, to hear about all the medical stuff, uh, I, I guess I will post this to YouTube. Um, so you guys can check that out. Uh, I could do a quick recap, but that would be, that, that would take 10 minutes or more. So thanks all for the donations. I, I really appreciate it. If you, you know, if you want to donate, if you feel like it's necessary, uh, then you have the option right there below you. A lot of you guys know the link very, very well. Some of you might even have it saved as one of your favorites. Uh, and if you do, you guys are are crazy. You guys are crazy insane. Um, just gotta keep on going. We just gotta keep on going. That's what we're doing. That's what we are going to do forever. You know, as long as we can do this. Because um, I have no intentions on stopping anytime soon. Things might get rough, and you know, the gaps between videos might get a little longer. On those rough, uh, in those rough moments like this one right now, but it never ever means that uh, we're gonna stop. So we have a lot to do for heavy metal. We have a lot to do for heavy metal. So keep it up, man. Keep doing what you gotta do for life. And you know, I just, I just can't help it. There's something coming. There could be many things coming, really. But something is definitely coming. There is a change coming. Just, you know, too sweet. Too fucking sweet.